Hey everybody, this is Shanita. I am back for another video. I'm not going to do a long intro. This is another empties. I know I just posted one last weekend, but I told you guys I had a huge amount of uh, products I wanted to show you. So this is the second part to that video and I'm going to be finishing up my empties here. So if you enjoy empties videos, then relax, stay tuned. I've got quite a bit to show you again. All right. <laughs> There are, same as before, all kinds of stuff in here. So let's get started. I'm just going to pull at random. Here is my coffee scrub by Beauty Nest. If you are not following Beauty Nest, I'm, I'm telling you, if I use a product up in its entirety, you can just about believe that it is something I like. I've got products out the wazoo. And... I, you know, I use a little bit of this and I will use a little bit of that. And the next time I'll use a little bit. And when you, it's hard to get through a product is what I'm saying. Because I like to just kind of switch it up and use one thing one wash day and something else the next. And so by the time I get through a product, if I use it in its entirety, that means I really liked it because I kept going back to it. And so just wanted to put that out there. So Beauty Nest is a uh, brand that you must follow and try. Um, this is a coffee body scrub. So it's got in it, uh, organic sugar. It has coffee in it, uh, shea butter, mango butter, aloe vera, hemp seed oil, saffron oil, honey, licorice extract, emulsifying wax, stearic acid, lemon essential oils, frankincense essential oil, fragrance, and optifin. Now it is, uh, one of those that is just perfect, perfect texture. If you've heard me talk about exfoliators before, sometimes I find people have them too oily. There's not enough of an exfoliant and sometimes there's so much sugar and not enough oils. This one is perfect in its consistency. Perfect amount of sugar and the coffee in it. Look up the coffee benefits for uh, skin. I think you'll be very impressed with that. And I didn't know how I would feel about this because I'm really not a coffee drinker at all. But this made my skin feel so freaking good. I think it was the combination of the coffee and the sugar and then the butters. Like you got all those butters on top of it. The shea and the mango, the aloe vera, everything in it just spectacular. Love this so much. It does, um, you know, you literally, let me see if I can show it to you. Look, so this is kind of what you get. That black coffee sugar butter combination does end up on your skin but you rub it around really really good and it gets um it exfoliates off all of that dull dry skin and it looks kind of yucky but oh my you will feel so good and so refreshed your skin will just you just feel like you've shed the top layer you know sometimes you use a scrub and it's like eh, kind of gentle you feel this when you use it. And by the time you rinse it off, and it rinses very clean, rinses right off the shower, no problems at all. Um, you just almost feel like you've lost a layer of skin. And I know that that's hard theoretically to think about, but your skin just feels so soft and so good after that until I, I just will always have this. Very, very good. So follow Beauty Nest. Um, I will put my discount code in the description box for Beauty Nest. So follow them on Instagram, sign up for their emails. And then if you decide to buy something, use my code to get you a discount. We, we try to save money over here. I'm all about saving some money, all about that life. And while I'm picking up Beauty Nest products, here is her Brighten Me Up Vitamin C Facial Toner. So this is... I use this and just spray a couple of sprays on a cotton ball after I wash my face and just use this as a toner. After the fact, listen to these ingredients. This is what I fell in love with her. Like I just kept reading and staring at the ingredients and finally like, I'm taking the plunge. Like this is just, everything is just wonderful ingredients. And when there's a, an ingredient that's good for something she's trying to emphasize on the product, everything that's good for that particular issue is in the product not just one or two things this one toner and look how many organic ingredients it is there's organic aloe vera juice vitamin c glycerin 
organic sugarcane extract, organic bilberry fruit extract, organic sugar maple extract, organic orange peel extract, organic lemon peel extract, organic cranberry fruit extract, organic white bark extract, tea tree oil, orange oil, and then she's got polysorbate 20 and um, the preservative in here. Like these many organic ingredients and it really, really feels good. It's just washing your face is good. If we can get to that, sometimes we're doing good. But that extra step toning really is important. And all these organic ingredients just makes this so super. I have containers of a toner about this tall that I've had for forever because I don't get around to use it. I go to this all, all the time. And it is six ounces and that's a huge bottle for toner. Normally they comes in smaller containers because it's just one of those products people either don't use or it definitely takes so long to get through it. So um, be sure to check out Beauty Nest. Here is, oh, you know what? I used this in my last wash day and I didn't tell you guys about it. Let's do that here, will we? Okay. This is Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I got this in my Allure Beauty Box, which I also will record after this video, so be sure to tune into that. Um, and if you don't know, then Briogeo is uh, Black-owned, a higher-end brand that is sold in Sephora and some of the higher-end beauty stores. And it's it has high-end price tags. It does. Let me just put it like that. It has high-end price tags. Um, this deep conditioning mask, this was a one ounce container. I was able to, the way that I use deep conditioner, do two sections of my hair and I did the two back sections because they are more looser, my little type C, air, type C, um, type, what am I trying to say? Yeah, type C air, y'all, I am drawing a blank type three that's what i'm trying to say type three hair my hair is very very loose here in the back and any product agrees with this part of my i can use anything back here and because the hair has that perfect normal porosity it is like a medium density beautiful beautiful slippery nice spiral curls total different thing going on up here but I use this in the back because I know that that hair again likes anything I don't recommend this I don't recommend this if you see it and you think oh my gosh I'm in TJ Maxx and I see Briogeo you know I would never be able to or would never want to buy that in Sephora but here is $17.99 don't do it I'm gonna say flat out it was okay it was okay. Like I cannot, I would never pay the amount of money these things cost for this. I've used way too many smaller, way smaller uh, black brands that use some much cleaner ingredients that I can pronounce and know what they are. And that just provides so much more slip and moisture and softness. It did okay. It's not like my hair got tangled. I mean, uh, the my brush got tangled in my hair or that I couldn't detangle it just was not as easy and I had to run the brush through my hair many many more times using this so you don't hear me often say don't use something the only reason I did use this because it was one ounce and I used it in the back but I would I would not buy this again so be sure you keep that in mind but if you have it and you like it then I totally understand you don't have to take my word for it my experience is I would not buy it. Okay. Um, here is Ancient Cosmetics. This is a body wash. This is sweet almond and a black seed oil, rich and creamy body wash. Y'all, I've got so many Ancient Cosmetic products. I think they had an 80% off sale last year. And I bought so much stuff. I gave away so much stuff as Christmas gifts and still has so much stuff <laughs> and this was one of the body washes i just finally got out of there and start using now um this is good it's not great 
but it is good. And when I was using this at the time, I thought, oh, this is nice. Like it's soft and nice, rich lather and has my skin so soft. And by the time I got about halfway done, I opened another brand of body wash and I started using that. And I was like, oh, that ancient cosmetics one, it was just okay. This is great. So, but sight unseen, having never used it before, if I never opened that other container and found something even more luscious, I would say this was just absolutely wonderful, but it is for the price. I would say that they often have sales. And if you get the chance to uh, buy it on sale, I would absolutely say to try it because the ingredients are uh, pretty, it's a pretty simple ingredients list. And um, they do try to use natural oils in here. This one contains black seed oil. I think I've got another one that uses uh, sweet almond oil. I think I've got another one that does avocado. So different kinds of oils and fragrances in it. And it is, um, as you can see, like it's got a coating in the bottle because it's not watery. So it's not really runny, but it's not super thick either. It's kind of a, I don't say just in the middle. It is kind of on the little thicker side. Like I really had to, um, really work on getting this out of this little flip top toward the end there but it didn't slow me down it's not like it's something so crazy that i wouldn't um use or buy again i've got others i will use them up but if you catch it on sale buy it i wouldn't say buy it regular price so i will have the website there you can check these out just check out the brand sign up for their text messages and their, um, I don't, I don't think I get their emails, but their text messages definitely come through with sales and they're always having a sale and the sales are just spectacular. So I will include that and you should try it. You definitely should. Here is another body wash by a company called Canny's Cosmetics. And I don't know if you've heard of this one before. I love so many of you came on the last video. I was like, oh my gosh, I was writing down all those brands. And thank you so much for uh, showing us all these different companies. I was following them. And I, uh, uh, who said I was, I stopped the video so I could go and follow the companies. And then I come back to the video because I didn't want to forget. Like that was just... I felt so good. It was like I was getting paid for the referral, but I was—I just love being able to pass on new brands to you. So here's another one to add to your follow, uh, Canny's Cosmetics. I don't see her on uh, Instagram that much, but if you subscribe to her text messages, which you can get off her website, she sends out lots of text messages. So when there's a sale going on, I, I believe I used to get them every single day. So this is her papaya and mango body wash and this one too just a few simple ingredients almost the exact same now that i think about it as the ancient cosmetics some of the same ingredients and actually the candies use even less ingredients and i'm gonna be honest with you i think i like the candies cosmetics one better than the ancient cosmetics now that I'm thinking about that, I forgot this was in my empty stash. Um, this one smells so good, papaya and mango. It really does smell like what the fragrances are called. So you can't go wrong. If you think you'll like the smell of the title of it, you will. I mean, if you like that smell, then you'll like the product. And it too, not too watery, definitely not thick, just the right consistency to, to pour out of here really, really easily. And so... Um, Love this as well. Uh, none of these I would repurchase anytime soon because why? Right, I'm on a no buy. I'm not buying any more products until I use up a humongous part of the ones that I have. I'm just not going to do it. But will I recommend these for you to buy? Yes, these are, this is one that I would recommend as well. All right, I'm going to try to get through this without so much noise so we can actually get through it. Just all the yap, yap. Uh, be sure that you're following for Bella Natural. This is her coconut moisturizing co-wash conditioner. And girl, this was so good. This was 
so good. She called it a cold wash conditioner. I used it just as a rinse out conditioner. And so for me, it felt like, okay, I'm just doing a little extra cleansing after my shampoo and I'm getting the benefit of the conditioner. It has so much slip. Oh my gosh, it has so much slip. I was really, really impressed. I've had this for a while. And when I went to finally use it, it was one of those I was so mad at myself that I had just gotten around to using it. And then I used it every single wash day until it was gone. This was that good. This says, I've had it so long in my shower. Let's see what it says. Treat your hair with this exclusive blend of mango butter to nourish your hair and hydrolyze quinoa proteins at strength and elasticity. Our Special blend of coconut milk, natural oils, essential oils, and vitamins help to add hydration, balance, and promote natural luster, body, and shine to the hair strands from roots to ends. It detangles, repairs, restores, and moisturizes. And it just says that the brand is, oh, the product is silicone-free, paraben-free, cruelty-free, and alcohol-free, as is all of her products. So, um... I've tried several of her rinse out conditioners. They were all, all good. But this one was probably my favorite, coconut. And if you are not a fan of coconut oil in your products, you will still love this. That was my hesitancy in trying this. But uh, let me see if it even has coconut oil in it. It has aloe vera juice, water, coconut milk, satiro alcohol, mango butter, babassu oil, Moringa oil, glycerin, coconut oil. So it does have coconut oil in it. It's about midway through the ingredients, certainly not in the top five. It has kaolin clay, slippery elm bark, quinoa proteins, olive oil, argan oil. No wonder it was so good. It's got all these great oils in it and all these uh, ingredients for tons of slip. So be sure to follow for Bella. And I also have a discount code for her. So be sure to check that out in the description box as well. Saving that money, honey. Saving that money. Here's So Tanicles Strand Repair Cuticle Strengthening Recovery Mask. And um, you've probably all heard of So Tanicles, another wonderful brand with fantastic, fantastic ingredients for your hair. Super moisturizing, makes your hair super soft, just a perfect blend of ingredients she puts together to just give you some of the most she was one of the first ones that i used that taught me how much better my hair feel felt acted managed behaved by using um all natural ingredients it was when i used sotanicals that i was like okay i i thought this whole natural thing was just something to put extra money on this one's the one that taught me that, yeah, there's a difference. There's a difference in how your hair feels. Um, this one has, I'll give you the first five, distilled water, cocoa butter, olive oil, macadamia nut oil, and acetyl alcohol. It does have other good stuff in it. This one is more of her strengthening uh, mask, just tons of moisturizing ones. And so this one has a tad bit of strengthening and it's almost like you don't get a protein type of strengthening you get a strengthening that's just barely noticeable. So you're gonna get some softness and you're gonna get some strengthening too, but it's not gonna be so super soft where it's, you know, it's just a moisturizing DC, but it's not gonna be as strengthening or stiff at all in the least like a um, protein conditioner would be. You know what I mean? Nice balance. Um, one that you could use all the time. So I don't know if she still even makes this one or not, but it was very good. Here is, girl, what's happening? Oh, here is my uh, Camille Rose Fresh Vagina uh, candle. I think we talked about this in my uh, haul that I just did. I burned right through that and I liked it. Yeah, this is a nice fresh smell. You'd like this. I think I said the other one was grown folk scent. This one is a nice fresh one you could uh, use anywhere. I can't even begin to tell you what it smells like. 
make the fragrance is still in the candle but i just mean i'm not good at describing smells <laughs> so it's really good if you decide if those these ever go on sale and you want to try it the vagina one i highly recommend i didn't really care for the other ones that um i bought just being truthful here is kia moore's whipped body butter and this one is in the scent baby's breath kia moore is another one of the brands that i supported and worked with and Oh my gosh, I still smell that. Um, and I have a uh, discount code for her. That'll be in the description box. Uh, Kia Moore, this is, was a body butter that came in a mixture of pastel colors. So it was like this pink and yellow and light green and light blue. It seems like I just talked about this because I think I hauled it not too long ago because... I feel like I literally just got through talking about the different colors that was in there and how pretty it was, but super, super softening to the skin. As you can see, I tried to really clean it out. Um, the ingredients I think was on the label on the back that I don't have anymore, but shea butter and oils and vitamin E and goodness, just super, super moisturizing. Love this on your skin. You smelled like a fresh baby it's just so so good love 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 this um this is another thing i have got to work on getting rid of some of my butters oh my gosh i didn't want to start talking but i've got so many so again when you see a butter in here be impressed be impressed that means it's really really good <laughs> okay oh another beauty nest product here is a hydrating and calming facial toner and this is from her free my pores line and the free my pores line is one that she created for acne and uh, skin with hyperpigmentation and so this one was the toner that went to the shampoo that um, I believe the pH was a little higher on that one. It had charcoal in it. And so it was meant to really, really kind of go deep and get all that dead skin and oil and dirt out of your pores. And then you use the toner to just calm everything down. It's just this nice balance of highs and lows. And so the toner just kind of put your face back at its natural pH so that it's ready for the next step or whatever you're going to do so if you are uh acneic and you have a you know trouble with acne hyper hyper pigmentation and you do use a uh um, facial wash that is stripping you know a little heavy i do recommend her hydrating toner they're very good here's serenzo beauty's nourish deep conditioner and she is another sister brand that has hair products, body care products. Like the last time I was on there, it's like every time there's a new category of something there. Everything you think you can need for your hair, skin, body, face, whatever you need, she's got it. So be sure to follow her. I finished up this deep conditioner. Her brand, her products are paraben free, mineral oil free, silicone free. There's no synthetic color, phthalate free, no animal testing. And in this deep conditioner is, this was the Amla and Bamboo. There's many, many different kinds to choose from. This one is Amla and Bamboo, and it says it is designed to hydrate, moisturize, and soften your strands, making them easier for styling. It is enriched with Amla, Bamboo, avocado oil, and Babassu oil. And inside the ingredients list, you guys, there's water, babassu oil, avocado oil, satiral alcohol, castor oil, sunflower oil, polysorbate 60, palm oil, guar gum, B3, B5, vitamin C, vitamin 6, hibiscus, burdock root, marshmallow root, slippery elm, neem, on and on. So she has, um, yeah, so there are Ayurvedic ingredients in here as well. And this was good as well i really like this and when i say good you guys know me by now so you know when i say oh my god this is just like you just must have <laughs> and then there's this was good okay so this is where that falls you know it's not a 10 it's more of a i'd give it a six and a half to seven so it's good and i bought a bunch of them 
um, I will use them. I like them that much. I mean, they're totally usable and a lot of people love, love, love them. I like them. I think they're very, very good. So I would recommend them. If you wanted to try them, I would tell you, yes, absolutely, you should try it. It's one of those you kind of have to try for yourself. Here is Shea Moisture's Daily Hydration Facial Wipes. I think I picked these up at TJ Maxx. Some nights when I'm just too lazy, like I don't go to bed without. I used to be so good about doing my little skincare routine every, every single night. The busier work in my life gets, the tighter I am late at night. So sometimes I just take these at the end of the night and just wipe everything clean and call it a night. So, um, yeah, they were okay. They're, they're not my favorite. Uh, I don't know if they even make these anymore. They're just okay. And in fact, I believe toward the end, I started just using them like baby wipes when I needed something to just clean my hands off uh, because they were sticky or dirty or I just wanted them to be clean. I think I ended up kind of using it for that because I do have some um, other ones for my face that I like better. Oh, what is this? Okay, the label came off. This is for See Your Beauty, and this is a facial wash, and it is the last one she made. It was in my shower for so long, and the label came off, and now I can't remember. But the last skincare line that she came out with, that is what this is. I know she had one that was more African black soap based. And then there was another one. And this is that one. That's all I can tell you. This is not the African black soap one. The African black soap one was good as well, but it might be discontinued. So um, it, this one was very gentle. I remember it being a nice uh, soft cleanser, not stripping at all. If you've got more normal, sensitive skin that don't have any problems and you just want to kind of keep your skin clean and nice and soft and you don't suffer, suffer with any other issues, it's a very nice cleanser for just normal skin. Here is a bar of soap by Dr. Botanica's and this one is just called Vegan. And it was a bergamot and poppy seed smoothing body exfoliating bar. I am positive I picked this up also out of uh, TJ Maxx. I like to go in there sometimes, you guys, and just browse and study ingredients and take what I know for uh, about some of the ingredients. And when I see them on something and if it's just a bunch of good ingredients, it's like, okay, I got to try it. That's how I ended up with this very hydrating nice lather uh, it has shea butter in it but it had those poppy seeds all the way through the bar so good i had never heard of this brand before that but i really enjoyed um this and so all i had was the box because obviously i wouldn't have the bar soap but i saved this so i could tell you about it in case you ever saw this in there definitely worth your try um and so let me show it to you a little bit again this one's called Vegan by Dr. Botanicals. And then I'll have other ones um, that will, I think the product line is called Vegan, but then there's different kinds of bars in it. Like this one is Bergamot and Poppy Seed. Another one might be some other type. So try Dr. Botanicals if you ever see it in there. It is definitely nice natural soap you'll like. Here is my Hydrate and Refresh Curl Mist by Kia Moore. We talked about Kia Moore a moment ago with the body butter. This is hers as well. And this is her latest line of products, the rice water and guava and papaya line. This particular mist promotes hair growth, hydrates thirsty curls, refreshes curls, dandruff control, all hair types. And I sprayed this as a refresher usually midweek when I'm just retwisting or wanting to rehydrate my hair or um, when I, on wash day, prior to uh, pre-pooing my hair just to kind of get it nice and damp and wet so that I can separate it in order to handle it, I would use a refresher spray. If you didn't want to just use a water bottle, refresher sprays are excellent for that because they have just a little bit more uh, ingredients in it that help to hydrate the water so that the product is a little bit more, um, so makes your hair a little bit more softer and manageable. So you get a little extra hydration besides water. And so this one has guava seed oil, aloe vera juice, 
It has castor oil, avocado oil, jojoba oil, but very, very lightweight. Papaya fruit extract. It was very good. This is another thing it's hard for me to run out of, a um, refresher spray. It takes me forever to go through them. Of course, it would take forever if you got like eight or nine open at the same time. So there's that. Um, here is Product Janky Naturals Pumpkin and Caramel Deep Conditioner. I came and I believe I showed you guys something else from this line during that last uh, product empties. Something from this pumpkin and caramel line. I feel like I did. But this is the deep conditioner that, as you can see, I liked very well. I got this is probably one of the last deep conditioners I bought. Um. For certain, it was one of the last deep conditioners I bought because I remember saying I wasn't going to buy any over Black Friday, none over the holidays, going to use what I've got, but I did end up buying this one like in December and so um, it's gone. So that should tell you that. <laughs> I really, really like this a lot. I love how thick these are as well how much slip they have, how moisturizing they feel. This is not my absolute favorite one from her, but I like this a whole, whole lot. I used it right on up. So very, very good. Oh, wow, this is just a beauty nest kind of day. So here's beauty Ness's facial scrub. And this one is called Even It Out. Even It Out is for her um, line that uh, targets hyperpigmentation. And so even it out, she's got ingredients in this scrub that helps with slowly fading dark spots over time. And so I use that for this, for that matter. It has turmeric and kojic acid, which both are known to gradually fade spots. And so that's what I love about our products. She like throws everything in it. It's like everything but the kitchen sinks. If somebody says this ingredient is good for fading spots, Everything in it that says it's good for fading spots is going to be in it. So it's not going to be one or two ingredients. You get everything all in the, the one product. So this has, example, organic sugar, organic shea butter, organic cocoa butter, which kept this super duper moisturizing. Now, it's a scrub, but it's got sugar and then butter right after it. Very creamy, gritty. So it's like creamy, gritty. You get the moisture and you get the exfoliation as you scrub. So, um, and then there's sunflower seed oil, papaya extract, licorice extract, turmeric extract, beeswax, emulsifying wax, lemon essential oil, grapefruit essential oil, and sodium lactate, which is a paraben-free preservative. And this was yellow. I remember this. This was another It took me so long to um, use because... There was so much in there and you only need it like the amount, the size of a fingernail, like just a dime size, literally for your entire face. I've had this for forever. I thought I'd never get to the bottom of that, but it is just like her body scrub. Like you just, once you rinse that um, sugar away and those ingredients, your skin just is so soft. It feels so good. And I always tell myself after I use it, I've got to start doing this more often because it is so brightening, so good for the face. Here is my soap, nourishing, smoothing um, body bar by Soap and Glory. I told you there would never be an empties that didn't have a Soap and Glory product in it. So this is their multitasking bar and it is this square shaped pink bar. It is literally about as pink as this box. Smells absolutely phenomenal. Feels absolutely phenomenal. It is just, I told you, between Tree Hut and Soap and Glory, if I had to go into a store and buy something, it would be one of those two brands every time um, as far as body care goes. Um, yeah, there, there's just no beating them. I, 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 I've stopped trying to. So you will probably always see something pink from Soap and Glory in every empties video. I know it's sold at Target. It's sold at um, Walgreens. There's not a CVS near me where I am now, so I don't know if they have it or not, but those are the two places that are near me that I know have it. I even subscribe to their email so that I can know when they're doing some kind of sale. I love that company and I love those products so much. 
Here is a black girl sunscreen. This is a moisturizing sunscreen with SPF uh, 30 protection in it for face and body. I've been looking literally for years for a uh, sunscreen for my skin that would not leave a white cast on it. Finally, finally, my prayers were answered. This stuff is phenomenal. I have dry skin. I can use this in the summertime as a one and done. I wash my face, put this on, and I can be out the door because it keeps it moisturized so much and it offers that protection that we so desperately need. And I say this every time I bring a sunscreen through here because I'm hoping to get more and more black women to understand that yes, we do need sunscreen on our face every single day. I use it every single day. Most days I don't even go outside because I work from home, but I put this on every day. Um, I use in the winter time. I, Every day, like I don't go without this um, sunscreen. If you're using other serums and um, exfoliating treatments on your face, if you are dealing with some old pimple or acne scar, if you don't use a sunscreen to shield your skin from the light, that light will slowly make that spot, it, it, like it slowly, it keeps it, how do I describe it, make it make sense? It doesn't protect the skin that's trying to heal and fade. So that light just exposes the uh, spot or the scar. There's like no protection between it. So the light hitting on the scar will cause it to just stay the same. If you're trying to fade it and you're using other products to try to fade it, and then you go out in the sun with no protection on, it, it, it's a wash. It's a wash. So if you're using things that you want to fade those spots at night or after you wash your face, let the sunscreen be the absolute last thing that you put on your face. And then it provides that barrier between your skin, where that, those scars are, and that light, which is just not good for um, skin that's trying to heal. I hope that made sense. I hope that made sense. But use it, I promise you, you won't regret it. And if you are using some sort of uh, treatment for your dark skin and you find it, oh my God, like I'm doing everything. I use it every night. I'm being consistent and I'm using this high price stuff and none of it's working. And you're still having problems with those same spots. I'm going to ask you if you're using sunscreen. I've had people tell me that once they added the sunscreen, they could start seeing the dark spot go away because you're protecting the skin. And so now it can actually heal and slow, slowly start to fade. All right, off my soapbox about that. Here is ageless throat and delicata, delicata I can never say this word, decolletage <laughs> cream. This is for this area here, basically. Right around the shoulder area and your neck. This is a cream for that. Now, as we age, I just think this is just a necessary thing. A lot of people go through a lot of effort. They get facials or they do their facial care and they wash and they use moisturizer on their face and keep it all nice and tight. And I don't know how or why I start noticing this, but if I see somebody whose face looks so gorgeous, you can tell they really care about their skin and they take it the extra effort to use their skincare, but those neck, the neck has those wrinkles in it. It's like, they're using stuff on their face, but not their neck. It's so important. And I'm not telling you to get a separate product for this. I'm telling you the moisturizer that you use in your face, the serum that you use on your face, be sure you're also using it on your neck because you don't want the, the skin on your neck to stay dry and to start aging and sagging and wrinkling while you're trying to keep your face nice and tight. Like... The neck is going to tell the story every time. Every time. When I see women on TV, I look, I, it's not like I purposely look at that neck, but if their neck is exposed and you're looking at their face and their makeup is flawless and they look awesome and that neck is looking all wrinkled, I'm like, mm -mm. so that's 
something I hope you learned from me today. Please start covering your neck with um, a good moisturizer and sunscreen. And if you are not of the age where, or if you are of the age where you've already start seeing the difference because you didn't moisturize and see sunscreen, that's where the um, throat and decolletage cream comes at. You, some companies can act, actually make something especially for the neck and for that area. So it's a price we have to pay for getting older. You just got to add a little extra step to your uh, skincare routine. This little thing lasts me forever, forever. Like literally, you talk about just doing your neck in this decolletage area. Only need a smidgen, just a smidgen. This little half an ounce, yep, half ounce took me. Y'all, I think I've had this thing since last year. I'm going to be honest. I really think I have. Anyway. Just remember that it says it promotes the appearance of firmness and resilience. Yeah, for the throat and decolletage. And it talks about how luxurious the cream is. Um, you can do your homework and find a cream that works for you that's in your price range that has good reviews. That's what I do. Uh, if somebody hasn't recommended one and I want one for myself, I just... Go read, find one, read reviews, and give it a try. If you don't like it, you can take it back. You can choose to use it. Whatever. Just make sure you're keeping up all of yourself, okay? Here is Rose Infused Body Oil by Lamaze Con Con Collection with a K. I will add her website. I don't think it's in my description box, but she's a company I work with, and she had all these um, rose petals inside floating around in this oil it was so nice and the, it smelled like rose she used rose essential oil in here anyway it's vitamin e oil apricot oil sweet almond oil those rose petals and they just floated around in there and it has a dropper still the rose petals are big enough that once you get the oil out um you don't pull out the rose petals as well. I've had some from some companies. I get the idea. They're making it cute and the benefit of the rose petals, but then they crumble it up so small that when I go to use a dropper, like some of the uh, little rose petals comes out with the oil. And I don't, I don't, I don't want to be doing all that. So these rose petals are nice and big and the oil was great. I put it sometimes on top of my body butters. I mix it in with my body butters before I rub on. Um, you can use the body oils as well sometimes on your neck, on your feet, however you want to. You can use it anywhere, all anytime. And here is a Neem and Nettle Hot Oil Treatment by Curl of Essence. This one has been around a long, long time. I normally use this one. It's called a hot oil treatment, and I know it's meant to be used as a hot oil treatment. I don't think I ever used it like that. I'll always put this on top of my conditioner. So I will put my deep conditioner on my hair, rub it all the way through, and take a few drops of this oil and rub it on, and then rub it on top of my deep conditioner. I don't know why. Um, I think I started doing that with something else. And then the ingredients in here reminded me of that. And so that's why I just kept doing it. This has, um, I can see neem, nettle. Oh, child, let me switch to the other side. Neem, nettle, henna, amla oil, avocado, olive oil, sunflower oil. Coconut oil, almond oil, argan oil, black seed oil, peppermint, lemon, and fenugreek seeds. Okay, that's all I can read. The bottle is all screwed up here. But I love her oils. I love those. They do work well as a, like a sealant on your hair. And I always use it to just kind of do a seal over my uh, deep conditioners because it's lightweight. And I just felt like it added this extra slip to my hair that when I went to uh, rinse it out, it just slid that hair out of um, uh, the tangled hair out of my head so, so easily. And I just love the way it made my hair feel. Okay. That's it. Oh, one more thing. And this is a special, special mention because one of my subscribers sent me this. Shantae, Shantae, um, 
sent me this through the mail. This was this is Briogeo's Don't Despair Repair Super Moisture Conditioner. Now, unlike that mask that I did not like, this super moisture conditioner I really did like. This is a rinse out, and this is the full size. It is 16 ounces and it has all manner of goodness in it. There's water, glycerin, uh, soybean oil, acetyl alcohol, argan oil, aloe vera juice, sweet almond oil, chamomile, extract, sandalwood oil, bark oil. It's a long ingredients list, but things you would recognize. There's also shea butter in it, arginine, biotin coconut oil, all kind of goodness. This was probably my favorite product from her that I ever used. I'm so glad that I have this one good memory <laughs> to uh, be able to say that I've tried of them that I loved. And then the fact that somebody else gave it to me was just a bonus. She, I just will always, always remember you, Shantae, for this. It was just the sweetest thing. It was the first thing I'd ever gotten to use by them. And then it was by far my favorite thing. So love this. And if you have not tried this particular one before and you like the brand, I highly recommend this super moisture conditioner. I think you have to really be careful with what the product says it's going to do. I got a bad habit of knowing what a product is and just start using it like I know that you're supposed to use that product as opposed to reading it and seeing what it says it's going to do because you can't be upset and disappointed that it didn't do something that it didn't say it was going to do. So this one talked about super moisture and it was super moisturizing. So it is the one that I do love and highly recommend. Love this and love you so much, Shantae, for sending it. Thank you so, so much. And you guys, that's the end. I finally made it. That is all for this latest rendition of natural um, products and beauty empties. And so I hope that you found a few more brands to follow or a couple of other products that maybe you want to check out. And um, yeah, let me know what caught your attention. What are you interested in? What companies struck something for you or what particular type of products? And that's it. I hope you enjoyed it and I can get these things out of here and move on to some other kind of video. Thank you guys so much for commenting and for watching. Always, always, always appreciate you. Um, I think on the last video you all wrote in finished. So this one, if you got to the end of this video, I want you to type in the comments, finished this one too. That's what I see in the comments if you've made it all the way to the end. Finished this one too. Okay? Thank you guys so much. And let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.